What is going on everybody? Today, Google finally dropped Android 15 Developer Preview 1. This comes a day later than what was originally teased, but we are here and we just finished flashing it to our Pixel 8 Pro. And a couple quick takeaways, I wanna go ahead and give you a quick update on this actual new build and a few new things we found. We're gonna be doing a deeper dive here in the near future, so make sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more Android 15 coverage. First thing right off the bat, there is no OTA update, which is pretty common since it is a developer preview and not a beta. You do have to flash this to your device and that usually does entail wiping your whole device out. So just keep that in mind if you decide to partake. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. Okay, so before we dive into everything we found, let's talk about what Google is actually preaching as some of the pillar changes to Android 15. And we'll start with Health Connect. They are now saying that Health Connect in Android 15 is now supporting new data types across fitness, nutrition, and more. We are now getting something I'm pretty excited about, and that is partial screen sharing. So in Android 15 now, screen sharing gets more control that allows users to limit what they share down to just a single app window rather than the entire device if that is what you are hoping to, uh, to do and need to see. Then you're gonna get new in-app camera controls. In Android 15, it adds new extensions to give developers control over low light enhancements in the camera as well as advanced flash strength adjustments. Then you're gonna get some changes to file integrity. And basically what Google is saying here is that they have new APIs that quote unquote, tap into the power of the um, FS Verity feature in the Linux kernel, allowing files to be protected by custom cryptographic signatures, helping you ensure they haven't been tampered or corrupted. Then you're gonna get dynamic performance, and it says Android 15 allows for improved performance in games and perform, uh, uh, performance intensive apps by adding capabilities like a power efficiency mode that can be tapped into for hint sessions, GPU and CPU work durations that can be adjusted to meet workload demands and better thermal management. Hint, hint, Apple, I hope you hear this. Google is still improving thermals. And then privacy sandbox on Android. The latest version of the privacy sandbox on Android has been included to, you know, basically help with privacy and security concerns. Now, having got that knocked out of the way, I want to show you one of the first things, and that's as soon as you unlock your device, you have this new subtle fade in effect. I'm going to do that again so you guys can see it. Instead of just a dramatic quick flash in, it is very subtle and fades from the lock screen to your wallpaper. Very nice, subtle adjustment there. Definitely good to see. Also now, let's go ahead and take a look at the build number for this. Under settings, about phone, and you can see Android 15 DP1 has a build number of AP31.240.119.0. And yes, if we keep going while we're on this page and go to software update, you can see we are surely running vanilla ice cream. That is officially now the name for Android 15. Okay, let's quickly talk timeline because Google did outline what we can expect for these previews. And this will give us a good idea when the first beta will be released as well as the final version. And basically developer preview two will be coming next month in March since we did just get the first one in February. Then we will also be getting the next beta, yes, beta in April. So this will be beta one finally for Android 15. And then beta two will be coming out in May. And then finally in June, we will reach platform stability with beta three. And beta four will be out in July. And then the final beta, or I should say the final release will be available after that, usually around September or October, but Google did not give us a perfect timeline for that final release. Let's go ahead and jump back into settings really quick. We'll go to settings, system, and then software update. And again, like I said, same sort of launch screen here, nothing else really new. I did just wanna point out again, vanilla ice cream here, and we are running the February 5th security patch. This new update screen has not changed too much, and really the graphics overall 
from Android 14, especially the QPR 2, really have carried over here. Not too much is drastically different. If we, ha however, go into settings still and about phone and then look at Android version here and do our typical long press, you can see the new logo. It is an ice cream cone, basically, or what I would consider an upside down ice cream cone. If you long press, it is actually the exact same. Let's see if it wants to trigger here. Nope, gotta love betas. Let's go see if we can, there we go. Get that little game to go. Um, this is the exact same one from Android 14. So it's where you can kind of take off and go to the sun and control this little spaceship. Nothing seems to be new here just yet. If you found something though, comment down below and let us know. But for now, this seems to be relatively the exact same thing that we just had from Android 14. So, also now, we, as we talked about at the beginning, that partial screen share is really neat. And when you actually go in to your control panel and go into start screen record, you can see your new pop-up here where it gives you that option for a single app or to enable the entire screen to be recorded. If you wanna show touches and record audio, this is a much cleaner interface I really am a fan of this. I actually hope uh, Apple will implement something like this in iOS 18 when it comes out in a few months. So jumping around and just clicking into the apps, it actually is somewhat responsive and works very quickly. So I was actually pretty surprised jumping around into it, how fluid it is for a developer preview. Let's go ahead and say, well, using, and even the camera, is very quick and responsive. So we've had some issues in the past where it was not working as it traditionally would in developer previews, but this is doing good. And actually, as you guys can see here, there's a new update available. I'm not sure if this relates to the beta or not, or I should say to the developer preview, but we'll go ahead and update this nonetheless. While that goes about updating, I do just wanna call out one thing that I don't see active here is that new circle to search. Oh, there it is. It is now active. It was not working earlier. So let's just go ahead and circle something and you can see that is working pretty well. So yeah, I don't wanna drag out this video. We haven't dug into everything yet. Like I said, there's probably a load of new features baked in here that will either be unlocked user facing down the road and in the coming months that we're not gonna find right now, but stay tuned to this channel for more Android 15 coverage. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.